Welcome back to Tim and Unboxings. Mm. Hello, and today we are unboxing three Mystery Funko Pops from Pop in a Box. So Pop in a Box is a monthly subscription. You have the option to have either one, two, three, six, or 12 Pops to be delivered to you every month. So it's a mystery of what you'll get. You probably won't get a very high grill, but you might get something that fits your collection. All right. And before we get into the box, make sure to like and subscribe for more content below. Let's see what's inside. All right. I'm just filling around. <laughs> these, these all sound the same, so they can't be, you know, any yeah. special boxes. I don't think it'll be a pop protector. All right. This is the first item from the right. box. Show the people and look away. <laughs> no peeking. No peeking at all. All right. Y'all let us know down below if it's something nice. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. It's Tsunade. It was upside down. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this is a good pop, though, because I yeah. do plan on getting the Naruto collection. So that's one less pop I have to worry about. Yeah. How many is it now? Two? Yeah. Or more? Two. Okay. Good. Well, technically, that one's bar, though. Okay. That's so. cool. Yeah. You want to show the people closer detail that's yeah. upright? Yeah, that, that, that's not upside down this time. <laughs> Sonade was, what, what's your kage was she? Sonade was the fifth Hokage, I believe, right? First Hokage was Russian, yeah. Second was Tobirama. Third was um, Heroes and fourth was, oh wait. No, the fourth Hokage. No, Sonade is the fourth Hokage, right? Yeah, Sonade is the fourth Hokage, not the fifth Hokage. The fifth Hokage was technically Donzo, and he got, like, murdered, like, a day later. And then after him, it was Kakashi. Mm. That That's how it was. I haven't seen Naruto in a while, but she was the fourth Hokage. Then it was every guy. Mm -hmm. Then Kakashi. Yeah. Then Naruto. Because if you remember, Orochimaru would just straight up slaughter... <laughs> Yeah. Slaughter yeah. him. Well, he didn't. Yeah, he kind of did. But so they had to find someone new. And that's how Miss <clears throat> Tsunade came into <clears throat> the picture. Interesting. That is tough, though, for for Mr. Fifth. <laughs> just mm -hmm. got body. <laughs> All right. Let's put that right there. All right. Well, it's your turn now. Yeah. I'm excited. What if it's just a whole Naruto box? That would be like a great way to start a collection. Right? <laughs> I'm just. Like, look, you're not a Naruto fan. It's like, oh, I've got a bunch of Naruto boxes. I don't know if it's good for you guys. I'll turn it around just in case. All right, you ready to look? Mm-hmm. All right. J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> That's great. Oh, okay. oh, what's that special sticker? Pop in a Box exclusive. Oh, this is actually oh. a Pop in a Box exclusive. You can only get it through Pop in a Box. <clears throat> That's actually pretty dope. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I do not remember this character from the movie. So, for a little more information about this particular Funko Pop, this is um, J.K. Simmons in his, you know, iconic depiction of J. Jonas Jameson. But this is from the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, which is an MCU movie, but most Spider-Man fans are known from the original Raimi trilogy, where he portrayed the same character. Mm. So, so that was like at the end, like the end credits scene, remember where um, they kind of revealed his identity, the nope. Spider-Man? Well, well, that's what happened. Well, kind of. I kind of remember that, but I only saw the movie once. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. But, <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Last right. pop. Last pop. Let it be good. I mean, you know, it's been pretty good so far. <laughs> but, I'm, I'm not, but still, I want that to be good, too. Yeah. You know. All right. <laughs> good, good poop. All right. <laughs> All right, show the people. Turn it upside down in case they can't. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case it's upside down. Yeah. We turn it upside down. <laughs> All right, you ready? Uh huh. All right, let's see. Oh, this is Ursula. another oh. pop in the box exclusive. Oh, this is another pop in the box exclusive. Exclusive. You want to show? You want to show? Yeah. I never pop it up. So, so this, I don't know 
if you know exactly what this is supposed to be. It's like Ursula in like a human form. Like this like is that. in the Little Mermaid. Yeah. Um, after Ursula just straight up tricked Ariel, they're taking her voice. She had the voice in the shell. You can see the shell on there. Oh, she's actually uh-huh. holding the shell. Yeah. And she oh, was because cool. she wanted to be like in the human form or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. So that's actually a pretty cool pop. See, it says Little Mermaid thirty years. Oh, that's cool. What is that for the 30th anniversary of Will Murray being out? I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got two Pop in a Box exclusives. Exclusive. So that was, those are all the pops that we have. So yeah. now it is time to guess the <clears throat> value of these pops. So let's start with Tsunade, since she was the first pop we pulled out. Mm-hmm. What do you think her value <clears throat> is? Well, the average pop in the box, not pop in the box, the average Funko pop cost is like $8 to $10, right? Yeah. For ones that pretty much people don't care about in our commons are usually like $8 to $10. Mm-hmm. So how much do you think Tsunade goes for? Well, I'm not saying anything special. Like any special, you know, stickers or anything, and and it's not like I'm the biggest Naruto fan, so I wouldn't know how the the whole fandom feels about Tsunade in general. Mm-hmm. But like I said, it's no special stickers. There's nothing really, you know, extra exciting about her, and she's and I don't think she's really that much of a popular character. But it's not like a special sage mode or something like that. It's kind of just a regular sage mode. Yeah, you know, like 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 a special yeah, I know, transformation. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. So I would say like maybe. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars? Yeah. Twelve dollars. Um, I think I will <clears throat> guess cause I think this collection came out I actually might say. I think it was like last year. Oh, that's very recent, so it's not very Um No, it came out January this year. So um I doubt it's raised that much in value. I would say, I would say, you said 12? Yeah. I think I want to say 11. Oh, you need to cut me. All right, I say 11, you say 12. Let's see how much it actually is. On the official Funko app. Mm -hmm. So, just going to use the Funko app because it's faster. I can just scan the barcode. And Tsunade is going for $12 exactly (laughs) at the moment. As of today, her PPG is 12 Dollars. So she was released. She was released last year, actually, twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. So I guess I didn't read that right, or something. I don't know. But yeah, she came out last year, twenty nineteen, and she has a value of twelve dollars. J. Jonah Jameson. So this is a pop in the box exclusive. So that definitely gonna raise its value automatically. Yeah, it'll raise it. I I doubt pop in the box exclusives are just like are like the craziest in value. So if I was to pick the value, I think it might be I don't fifteen. We'll go with fifteen. That's respectful price. Um, so now it was twelve dollars at base value. Mm-hmm. This is a pop in the box exclusive. So that's definitely going to be at least 15 for me. But I think off just like the fan base of Spider-Man and how much they love J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson and then having him cameo in that end credit scenes, mm-hmm. I feel like that's going to boost him up a little bit more. So I'm going to go $19. $19. All right. $19. Well, let's see how much it actually is. We will see. So it came out... <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> he actually goes for $25, which uh, is pretty decent. You know, I, I kind of lowballed myself. I felt like he was worth a little bit more because, like, like he's kind of rare and some people like him. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's not even out yet. Yeah, he's technically not out yet. He releases this year. So, um, it probably just says coming soon because it's a pop in a box exclusive and you can only get it through them. Mm-hmm. And other people probably aren't selling it as much. Yeah. I was so but, close. That's pretty good value, though. Yeah. So we have Tsunade. Let's keep track of this. All right, last box. Ursula as Vanessa. Yes, from The Little Mermaid. What do you think her value is? Again, base value would be like $12. 
like in the eight to twelve dollar range. It's a pop in the box exclusive, so that raises her value a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And it's an anniversary type of thing, so I'll say that raises their value a little bit more. But I'm not sure, like how you know big the Little Mermaid community is on Funko Pop. So I'm not sure if it's like this is really a clamor for Funko Pop. Um, I'll say eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for twenty dollars. So. All right. All right, let's see. The power let's that see. popped the pop the box exclusive is $17. So it is $17. Okay, so you guessed most of them. This came out in 2019. So still a fairly new pop. Mm-hmm. But all three of these pops were pretty decent pops. Yeah. So let's add the total up of all these pops. So we had 17 plus 12 plus 25. That is a total of $54 in value. And for this box, I pay, I have the plan where I get three pops a month, which is $26.99. So I would say that is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good return. Yeah. So definitely got our values worth, especially since this one, you can't just get anywhere. Yeah. And even if you could get it anywhere, if it was available like the other two, I would have to pay more opposed to what I just got in this box. Yeah. Very awesome. Mm-hmm. So, should so, we review it? Yeah. It's time to review all these Funko Pops in comparison with, you know, value for the Funko Pop, you know, value for the box, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Then we'll have a final review score. For each of them. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of The Little Mermaid or Naruto. So, it's like like 66% of the, the, the box was kind of like, eh, for me. <laughs> well, but. I will point out that I have the general subscription. Mm-hmm. But they do break it down into categories. Like, you can do a subscription for three pops a month in the Disney category. So, you'll only get Disney pops. Or you can do Marvel, where you only get Marvel Pops, or um, things like that. So, I do the general just for, you know, giveaways, or just because, I mean, there's not just one category I'm collecting, but if someone only wanted Disney Funkos, because there are people who only want a certain category of Pops, then they can do that. So, that is something to keep in mind. Hmm. All right. Well, with that in mind, even though I wouldn't really care too much for most of the box <laughs> to, to be honest i would say that just the the j jonah jameson funko pop alone will make this pretty worth it for me since it's you know not released yet and yeah, it has a decent value at the moment so i would i would say an a out of 10 a out of 10 yeah okay that's pretty decent i think i mean i like the little mermaid um i rather have Ursula as Ursula than <laughs> Vanessa, but I mean, that's still pretty cool. So, I mean, I don't care for this one as much as you do, but, and I'm here for the Sonate one because right. Sonate is great. Um, so overall, I think I will give this, well, it did come with two pop and box exclusives. Yeah, that also does. So I think I'm honestly going to give it a 9.5. Because it came with two exclusives. They're pops that are pretty decent. Yeah. And on top of that, the entire value is $54. And I only paid, what was it, like $26 for them. Yeah. So I have to give it a 9.5 because that's pretty good to me. That's fair. All right, that's going to do for this box. If you enjoy any of the Funko Pops that you've seen in this video, I have a gaming channel. The link is in the description down below as always, where every time I reach a milestone, I do giveaways. So you might see one of these Funko Pops appear Ooh. in a giveaway and you might be able to win it and take it home. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the pops we pulled today. <laughs> and also leave a comment below saying which one was your favorite, was the box worth it, and make sure to subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.